Kristen Sullivan is the museum's executive director and joins us via Zoom this afternoon. Hi, Kristen. Hi, how are you doing? Great. The reopening is finally here and your team must be thrilled. We are. I mean, we've been closed since March 13th, so it feels like an eternity. At the same time, it kind of flew by, but we are really excited to be able to open the doors again and, and uh, let folks in the museum to enjoy the, the galleries, the grounds, and you get to say hello to some old friends and new friends that come through. And like everything else, you're not coming back to the way things used to be. Tell us about some of the measures you have in place for safety. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we want to open as safely as possible, keeping in mind our visitors, staff, and everyone. So uh, masks will, of course, be required. Um, and uh, we will also have a health screening station. So this isn't anything invasive, but just, you know, a couple questions to make sure that you don't have any COVID symptoms, that you're not running a high temperature, that sort of thing. So very easy, non-invasive, just to make sure, you know, that we can keep folks as, as safe as possible. Um, of course, we'll be requiring, you know, some distance um, so, so folks can keep, you know, at least six feet or so from, from other groups. Um, we've also had to remove some of our interactive displays to reduce, you know, how much folks are touching, things that other people have touched. But, but by and large, you know, the galleries are there for your enjoyment. The grounds are here. It's, a, it's hot out there, but it's a beautiful day to be near water. So it's a great time to take a walk by the park. Um, so folks, you know, hopefully we'll come by and enjoy some of the beautiful art and nature at the Ward Museum. And you're also offering um, some special hours for certain groups of people? Yes, we are. Uh, so our hours have changed a little bit from what they were. We are now closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, but Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays, we are open from 9 to 11, and that's for seniors um, or other folks who are in vulnerable populations who may want a little bit extra distance or, you know, just a little extra time to go through the museum away from other folks. So from 9 to 11, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Wednesdays through Sundays, we're open 11 to 4 for the general public. So can you touch on uh, some of the exhibits currently at the Ward Museum? Sure. So uh, we have, you know, our, our um, tried and true old favorite galleries that show some of the historical decoys as well as contemporary wildfowl art. But we have two special exhibits now, one that's actually opening tomorrow as we open the museum. The one uh, that was here before, they're extending for a bit, it's 50 Years of Excellence, which are sculptures from the Ward World Championship. So these are some of the best of the best from our 50-year-old Ward World Championship that we have every year in Ocean City. Uh, we also are opening tomorrow. It's Nature in the Abstract, the art of Eileen Olson. So Eileen is a fine artist from Delaware, so a Delmarva-based artist who does beautiful abstract impressionist work. It's a little different than things that we usually have at the Ward Museum, um, but still an interpretation, an interpretation of nature through the arts, and, and it's really the sort of exhibit you just sort of feel surrounded by the art. It's, it's, it's just beautiful. It's, it's really uh, pretty awe-inspiring. So we're excited to have Eileen's work and now debuting as we reopen the museum. Kristen Sullivan with the Ward Museum of Wildfowl Art, Salisbury University. Thank you so much. I know you have a lot of work getting ready for tomorrow. <laughs> it's all right. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you very much for having me.